welcome back to my show, Nina MD, Fusion of Science and Beauty here in Beverly Hills. And I'd like to introduce you to an amazing guest. Uh, he's been a naturopathic physician for 50, 30 years, written so many books, I can't even keep track. His newest book is Reverse Cancer Now. And the reason I, I brought Dr. Robert Young on, he's been in my previous show, mm -hmm. uh, because I think it's so important that the topic of cancer hits every one of us and how to prevent cancer. He's got some amazing advice. Welcome back, Dr. Oh, Robert well, thank Young. You, Dr. Nina. I know you've been on one of my shows when we did, talked about the pH miracle and, and, and all, uh, about the body and how mm -hmm. important you know, the pH of the body is. Mm -hmm. But you've been a naturopathic physician for 30 years and you have detox centers in like Italy, and, you know, in Como, Italy. You have the pH miracle center in San Diego where you're just, you know, just through diet, mm -hmm. um, you're, you're treating so many ailments. And here in, um, in Los Angeles, the you know, imaging center, the Universal Imaging Center, um, so much success. Can you explain to the audience mm -hmm. in terms of more of an integrative approach of what they can do um, to prevent cancer? Absolutely. And also, um, what, what is cancer? Do we, you know, just explain that. Okay. Well, first off, uh, I've said that the cure for cancer will be found in its prevention, not in its treatment. There you go. Listen to that. It's so very, very prevention important. is the key, and we're not just using that word loosely, because my research has shown that cancer is a disease of what we eat, what we drink, and what we think. It's not something that we catch. It's something we do by not taking care of the delicate pH balance of our internal fluids. Right. We have to manage that. So cancer is not what is not a cell transformation, it's an environment that causes a cell transformation. Yes, so, very important. So when we manage the environment, because we are a body of water, Yes. we are 60, 70, 80 percent water yep. with matter. And if we don't manage that environment, then our cells become cancerous. So we have to change our whole uh, approach and understanding to what cancer is. Rather than treat tumors, rather than treat organs or glands, that are cancerous, we have to change the environment, provide an environment so that we can then slough off those cancerous cells, rebuild new cells, so we can then reverse the condition by changing the environment rather than treating the disease. Exactly, and, and so much of, we have cancer cells in our body, do we not? We all have. Yeah. Uh, every day in our lives, we have Absolutely. cancer cells, right? But it's when they get uncontrolled and that growth becomes uncontrolled and they start to overtake the normal cell population, right? Well, what happens if we don't get rid of our metabolic acid, our waste products, we're not eliminating right. our bowels, we're not urinating, we're not sweating, okay? The body has four channels of elimination to remove waste product. Okay. Through respiration, through defecation, urination, and perspiration. When those systems get backed up, then the body says, what do I do with this waste product? It takes the waste product, pushes it out into the connective tissue and then in the fatty tissues. Because it doesn't want to stay in the system, right? That's how it does it. It, gets, it pushes it out. out. Right. And that acid builds up, yeah. starts breaking cells down. Right. And it's like, if it, let me give you this metaphor. If you took a rotten apple and you put it in a bushel of healthy apples, what would happen to the rest of the apples? They all turn rot. That's they what happens. When you throw acid into a tissue, or an organ or a gland, and one or two cells start rotting, the they'll rot. Cells. So it, we, we look at metastasis in, in the wrong way. It's actually a domino effect. I see what you're trying to say. Yeah. So yeah. the body, one cell spoils another cell that spoils another cell. We have to stop that process. So our treatment protocol opens up the channels of elimination. Is that why there are certain miracle cures when people say, I just changed my diet? Because they change the environment, right? Okay, so you probably... Remember Chris Carr, she was on the Oprah Winfrey show and yeah. she's been on the Dr. Uh show. Yes. She's written several books. One's called Sexy Crazy Cancer. Yeah. She's my patient. She was at Harvard because she had a rare cancer condition. It was a vascular ca cancer. She had tumors all throughout her, her vascular system. You cannot remove tumors in the vascular no. system. No. So they because said, there's nothing we can do for you. Right. All we can do is follow the progress of these tumors. Right. So what did she do? She got on a plane, she flew out to one of our clinics, we put her on this program to start opening up the channels of elimination, hyperperfusing the tissues with alkalinity, and now she's 15 years from her diagnosis, and she, what, this is terminal. 
You don't survive this. Yeah. But she's living a happy, normal life because she's not treating the cancer. She's managing the fluids of the body and managing the alkaline design of our bodies. And you know, I think that makes so much sense is because I know when I have also had my experience with certain cancer patients and they did not make those lifestyle changes, I did not get the results. It was almost like the mind and also the diet and um, everything goes into exactly what you said, right? Um, if those are not, if, if all of those things are in, still imbalanced, and what I don't understand, explain me this, is yeah. when we have patients who actually have the cancer, they have to have chemotherapy to get rid of the tumor burden, okay? They go into the hospital, they're given all these treatments and to, to kill the cancer cells and so forth, and then no sooner do they, they're in the, in the hospital, the, the, the people ask, what do you want? And they're given pizzas, or they're given, just let them eat what they want, pizzas or a Big Mac, or, um, or, or uh, you know, just cup of a, coffee, cup of coffee or fried foods. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what, where's, what's happening here? Well, there's number, a disconnect here. Well, number huge one, disconnect. there's a huge connect, it can, a huge disconnect. Why are they, why are the hospitals not giving and, and mandating that, okay, these are the beautiful choices of foods that you can have. We will make it appetizing for you, but this is the choices that you choose from. Like, how about if we make you a beautiful fruit smoothie or, or, or you know, along those more healthier choices? Well, the good news is, is we're starting to move that way, but, but all the hospitals have to change their mentality as it relates to lifestyle and diet and how it causes a cancerous condition. Yeah. We have to take our focus off tumors and take our focus on the environment because the tumor is like a scab. And so when we are looking using ultrasound at a tumor, our focus is their blood supply. Because if their blood supply, then new cells are going in getting and you spoiled. you want to make sure that blood supply is healthy blood. So, I mean, well, or we want to cut it off. We right. want, it's called angiogenesis, right, you know, right, where, right. where we, we, we stop that. And the way you stop that is with an alkaline lifestyle and diet where you're focusing on the fluids of the body to allow the body to encapsulate the cell, solidify, and then break down. And that's why, you know, our, one of our uh, patients from Moscow who was diagnosed with inflammatory ductal cell carcinoma, Right. okay, there is no cure for that. Within seven weeks, a 14 and a half centimeter tumor is gone. And the reason so, why so, we're not extracting the tumor, we're providing an, an environment that will allow the tumor to solidify and then break down. So that's for the tumor, but also to provide a healthy, for the normal cells, right? Absolutely. Okay. So it's doing the, both. So you're doing, but you're providing an environment where you're increasing the circulation and all, but by doing so, the normal cells survive and they're getting all the nourishment they need. But then that same nourishment that the normal cells need is a very thing that the cancer cells don't need and that's what causes the, tum the tumor cells to, d to die. And that is why in recent published research that when you use chemotherapy and radiation into the body, you increase your risk for metastasis by 30 times. Wow. Wow. So all you're doing is, is putting acid on top of acid. When I think of radiation and chemotherapy, I'm thinking we've already got a fire going on in the body and now we're going to throw kerosene on it. Yeah. When we should be reducing inflammation because medicine is already, conventional medicine is already correlated inflammation to cancer. So what is inflammation? Inflammation is acid. Where is it coming from? From what we eat, what we drink, and what we think. If you can't change your lifestyle and diet, you cannot successfully reverse cancer. Period. Well, where do we go from? Where, how do we educate the, the pharma companies are controlling us? You have Monsanto that is, you know, that even genetically modifying the seeds and telling farmers that you, you know, that it's, it's illegal now for farmers to be growing organic uh, foods. And, and so many of these laws are, are in the favor of, of, of you know, of, of, of development of pharmaceutical drugs. At the same time, in benefit to the pharma, I see some pharmaceutical industries taking the lead and saying, look, we're coming up with a nutrient, for example, a breakdown product of folic acid that can treat neuropathies or depression or lavaz is a fish oil that can help decrease inflammation. Why are we, why is pharma not getting into this sort of, you know? The reason why is because from their perspective, you can't patent it. there's no money yeah. in keeping people healthy. Yeah. The money is keeping people sick. Well, you know, Dr. McCulley, he won a Nobel Prize for writing the book that was one of his research on homocysteine, right? Right. And never went anywhere. Homocysteine is an inflammatory marker. Right. He actually was at Harvard 
and he was doing his research and, and he couldn't get funding so he ended up having to go somewhere else to finish the, all of that research because there was really no money into discovering that really uh, the homocysteine could be uh, due to not you know breaking down your folic acid properly mm -hmm. you know well and, and so you so have much of that. and I agree with that but when we come back to the basics you have anyone everyone has within their yeah. power yeah. to improve the quality and quantity of their life if they're willing to change their lifestyle and diet and start managing the delicate pH balance of the fluids of the body. It's that simple. The, the cure for cancer, the self-cure for cancer, it was, is within you if you understand the principles of this pH miracle, which is a natural phenomenon of understanding the cause and effect relationship. What causes cancer? Acid. What causes acid? an increase of acidic lifestyle and diets, our thoughts, our words, our deeds. You know, if we're stressed, if we're depressed, that requires energy which produces acids that can make us sick and set the stage for cancers. We have to be able to manage that. Yeah, yeah. What do you, I know in the last show, you said instead of an apple a day is an avocado a day. Absolutely. It's a doctor away. Okay, what in this segment, what... If, and it's so difficult, I know, because there's so many good foods and so many, so many foods we don't want to limit, but what another food, let's say in your diet, that you incorporate uh, on, life, an life, on an everyday ba basis? Uh, what do you do on an everyday basis? Get for breakfast, I, I will, I will take time. spinach, parsley, celery, cucumber with ginger and turmeric. I'll blend that up and make a shake. Okay. Okay. Another thing is I'll juice them okay. and have a juice. But most of my food, particularly if you're sick, you cannot eat solid food. You want to use that energy to make new blood and make new body cells. So you want to puree or juice your food. And can I, you add a little bit of fruit? Do you can add. Uh, the fruits that I add would be coconut. Are okay? Like from like a pineapple or, or if, let's if, say if or apple? Yeah, if, if your pH is good, if you're not in metabolic acidosis, if you are, then you're going to have to eliminate the high sugar fruits. But things like grapefruit can be added, okay? Uh, berries can be added, yes. strawberries, blueberries, okay. Okay. okay, but the high sugar fruits like pineapple, you know, uh, bananas, you have okay, you have to be a little bit careful. Uh, even though they're high in potassium, well, guess what, avocados is higher in potassium, and potassium is the alkalizer of the body. So you have to watch certain fruits, and I talk about those foods in my book, The pH Miracle. Is this is this one, yeah. this is this one, this is yeah. a pH Miracle. And this is the one, Reverse Cancer Now is your latest book, right? Latest book. And, and this yep. is about changing the environment in your body. You have the, you have the ability to cure the cancer within yourself. Okay? It's, this is a self-cure, yep. self-care program. We empower you. You have the education and the power to, to change your, the quality and quantity of your health. Well, listen, thank you so much. How do people look you up? How do they come to your website? Is it the PH Miracle? Com. That's one of my websites. The What's other the one other? is foreveryoung.com. I love it. With it a PH. Yeah, instead of an F, it's foreveryoung.com. So, so spell it. P-H-O-R-E-V-E-R-Y-O-U-N-G. Forever Young Why? with a PH uh, substituting the F. But Forever okay. Young, uh, I have a great blog, over 3,000 articles. I, I love giving things away for free. My knowledge should be for everyone. It should be available to everyone, and it should be free. It's about changing lives and saving lives. You're really, this is a health revolution you guys were trying to really start here. We're going to start it here in Beverly Hills. It's going to go global and, um, and people like you are, are just the, the, you guys are the pioneers of something like this. You have been my mentor. You, I look up to you in terms of just the diet and the knowledge that you have. It's thank amazing. You. Um, so thank you for tuning in. Nina MD, Fusion of Science and Beauty.